always been infatuated with surfing from a very young age. Um, when I left school, I obviously wanted to be a professional surfer, but unfortunately wasn't good enough. So I, the next was thing was just to work for a surfboard company called Gulfstream Surfboards in Mullacoon. And I worked with them as well as like going to college for about like, 10 years until I was 25. So I learned, learned to shape and glass and sand and basically make a surfboard. Um, which enabled me to obviously work with more passionately. So we surfed a lot as a, as a team and we spent a lot of time abroad in the winter and travelled. Um, so yeah, it, was, it was as good as being a professional surfer and earning a bit of money as well. Yeah, I suppose the first time I started getting media attention, we always had a, a little yard shot in a magazine or something like that, but um, it was probably, you know, when I started working with photographers and getting shots in magazines regularly and then the, the sponsors being a bit more interested and uh, it was probably like 26 or something. And, or every sport's addictive. Um, and, and if you enjoy it, you know, you, everyone wants to make what they enjoy their job, right? and it's almost like a dream. So, but I never thought it would be even close to reality. Uh, yeah, it's now I start looking at weather charts, patterns, whereabouts it's going to make the waves. Um, you know, I've got the guy that I, I surfed with a lot for uh, Al Meanies and Ireland. We'd be commenting a lot about where we could go, um, where you can get to film it, um, sort of trying to get the biggest waves possible. Yeah, it's frustrating, cold. Yeah, the, the, the rewards we do outweigh the negatives, but you just got to, there's a lot of time waiting. This is it's always nice to have something to fall back on. You don't, don't always get swayed. If you really believe that you can do something, you don't get too swayed by people around you.